Hello again. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to measure your patient and then determine the MAS and KVP that should be used for the specific view you are taking. So on this Basset Hound, we're going to take an abdominal view, specifically the right lateral view. A right lateral means the patient will be lying on their right side. Now ideally, you measure your patient in the position they'll be in for the radiograph. So I'm going to put my patient into right lateral recumbency and with calipers I'm going to measure from the point of x-ray entrance to x-ray exit. So the x-ray beam is going to enter this side and exit below. So I'm going to measure that aspect and for an abdominal view we typically measure right behind the rib cage or close to it. I have my measurement, I slide out my calipers, and I see that we're just at about 15 centimeters. So that is my measurement. With that measurement, we now need to consult the technique chart. This technique chart is for the non-digital traditional film system, so film and cassette, and it's for use with the bucky tray or the film tray. If your measurement is greater than 10, you do need to use the bucky tray. So you see the measurements across the top, thickness in centimeters, is only 10 above 10, 11, 12, 13. We were at 15 centimeters. We're taking an abdominal view. So we can see for all abdominal views, we're going to use an MAS of 1.2 when we're using the bucky tray. To figure out the KVP, we follow the 15 all the way down to abdominal view, and we see it's going to be 75. So let's set our machine to 75 and 1.2. Now because we're going to use the film tray, we do need to slide our tube head down into the film tray position. And we need to take our cassette and insert it into the film tray, commonly referred to as the bucky or bucky tray. Make sure when you put your cassette in the bucky tray that you slide it all the way back. It should lock into place. Now when we turn on our light field, as we move the tube head, the cassette in the bucky tray is moving right along with it and that assures that things remain lined up correctly. So we would then get our patient into position and remember we need to collimate, so make our area only as big as necessary. And sometimes we do need to adjust the position of our patient a little bit. With radiographs, it's very important to include a right and or left marker. So this is a right lateral. We would include the right marker and I'm gonna put it up here in the corner so it's out of the way of any anatomy but still included in the field of light to ensure it shows up on my finished radiograph. We also need to include a label with patient and clinic information, and that I'm also going to sneak up into this corner. Again, it needs to be in your light field if it's going to show up in your final radiograph. We would now expose our radiograph using the foot pedal and watching that prep button and then we will go from there.